We're here with Evan. Welcome to Max Speed, dude. What you got here? I got my 1993 Mazda Miata. You got anything done under the hood? Um, aside from like an aftermarket intake and um, like an oversized aluminum radiator, not too much. Uh, the main focus on this car is just to keep it running as long as possible and as efficiently as possible. So if I see like a hose that's cracked or something that looks too old and needs to be replaced, I don't have a problem getting like the, you know, the higher end hoses and whatnot to try to, um, you know, keep it running that much longer. You know, I believe a lot in maintenance and keeping the car up and running. I'd rather throw a lot of parts at it for maintenance rather than performance parts and you know something fail along the road for because I neglect neglected something for the maintenance so right. aside from that I can't really think of much else that's done to it aside from underneath the hood like yeah relatively stock like it does its job so like why well, try to fix something if it does exactly what you need you know right weird question how tall are you I am six one and you fit how well in the Miata? I have about an inch and a half of headspace when I have the top up. I never, never hit the top or anything like that. I have like just perfect clearance and I actually have like a longer than average torso. So like I know friends that are like 6'2", pushing like 6'3", that fit in the Miata too. And that's with a stock seat. I have a stock seat, no foamectomy, like everything is super stock about it. So like even if you had a, like a bucket seat and you were like a giant, like 6'5", you could probably still fit in it. Oh yeah, you ready for go for a drive? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, man. I gotta ask, what made you get a one six? Um, to be honest, at the time, I didn't really know the difference between like the one six and the one eight. All I was looking for was a Miata. I was carless at the time. I had just moved to Orlando, and I really needed a car to get to and from a job but i wanted something fun still you know i the last car i had before i got this miata was a, a 99 civic oh okay yeah and is it, it a coupe uh it was it was an em1 coupe oh that's right yeah and it had um it had a different motor and it. it had a f20b swap and an h22 head so it was like super oh. powerful and everything but things fell through with that car and i needed another car and i was like damn you know what is a cheap car that i can get for cash as a uh, i think it was i was like 19 at the time and i was just searching on craigslist and looking for other things and my buddy was like you should really look into miatas they're really fun they're easy to maintain you'll learn a lot more pick this up on craigslist for like 2500 at the time so how long have you owned it i've owned it since October 2015, so coming up on four years. All right, and you yeah. put on almost 60,000 miles? Yep, 60,000 miles, taking it all the way to the mountains in North Carolina, taking it down south multiple times because my family lives in South Florida. Um, it's just, it's such a ball of a car. Like it's gotten me to and from work for years. Right. Uh, never left me stranded, anything like that. Um, and it's, it's just so, so easy to maintain. And it's obviously, it's loads of fun to be able to throw the top down whenever and just cruise. Does it work as a daily driver? It does. I mean, like a Miata can be your daily driver, you know? I don't have kids, you know, I'm single, I have like a cat, that's it, you know? <laughs> so going to the grocery store, no problem, you know? Just make sure that the trunk isn't overly cluttered, throw everything in the trunk. Got a, got a lot of groceries, put a couple in the passenger well, you're fine, man, right. you know? Uh, you know, to and from work, it, it's great. You know, I have the exhaust on this thing, so people see me, it's bright red. I don't really ever have a problem with people not seeing me or trying to like merge into me or anything like that. So right. it, it really does work as a daily driver. And you know, what, what makes a daily driver to me is something that's at least fun every time you get in the car a little bit. You know, you, you either like the way it looks a lot when you, when you close that door and you walk away, you always look back you know or it's just you got like small little micro moments of fun as you're driving you know so that's and it's comfortable i don't i could drive this for i drove i've driven it for hours on end i took it on a 12-hour road trip recently and you know 
occasional stop at the gas station and I'm good. I'm, you know, I don't get overly right. uncomfortable. I have stock seats in this, you know, and I, I have them for a reason because they're really comfortable. Yeah, that helps for sure because like those racing seats that people put in here, like the yeah, super they, low bucket seats, it's like... They're convenient, but I mean, yeah. after, after a little while, your back can start hurting and whatnot. a good deal i don't know like whatever whoever you're watching like whenever you're watching this whether it's like really soon after it's posted or you know maybe months down the line or whatever but right now they these tires are a fantastic deal um they're federal rsrrs i picked i picked these up right before i went to the tail of the dragon last month and they have dumb grip uh for the price point 336 shipped to my door for four tires 336 for all four 336 shipped oh for all God. four and with the what? amount of power that i have it's ridiculous the amount of grip that these things have you know because it's just like underpowered and super grippy setup you just don't know what to do with yourself besides just hang on to the corner and have fun <laughs> the the wheels that i have are inky rpf ones they're 15 by seven and a half uh, plus 42 offset. They're 9.9 .9 pounds each, That's so crazy. it's just ridiculous. Um, and then the tires are 205, 50, 15. Yeah. I was planning on boosting this. I had like the ECU, I had a turbo at one point, I had gauges set up in the car, but I decided to just kind of revert it back to the stock the stock feel and just keep running with it how it is. Like the LSD in this and just a, a healthy motor gets the job done so I can't really complain too much but hopefully in the near future you'll see that I'll have a, an NV and I'll start the turbo process on that. Hey man if you want to do a video with that too. Oh yeah dude. Show we'll do like it. how you went from the NA to a turbo NV like that'd be awesome. Yeah yeah honestly that'd be that'd be really prime you know I, I love it. Oh we're gonna try to get in front of him. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Dude, killing it. 
on it. Get in front of that pickup truck the last minute. And we got some other cars in front of us. I know feeling too well, man. I know feeling too well. All right. You, you might feel different like behind the wheel because like when you're turning the wheel, you can you can tell like it's right there. I mean, yeah. I could literally reach back behind me and touch the wheel as it's <laughs> rotating. Like, you know, I do have a little bit of a longer reach, but That's you crazy. You can literally do that. This is what this car is built for. Yeah. Let's go over the mods and what this car has. So for a daily drivability, you have power steering and you have AC. Yes, I do have power steering and I do have AC. Um, a lot of what I do to like make it more daily drivable is a lot of like small interior mods. So I have like rev limiter gauges, right. which kind of simplify the gauge setup in the car and then give it a little bit more color. I deleted the radio and I actually adapted the stock harness to house a Bluetooth adapter like custom board. Oh, and the, the steering wheel is out of a NB2. I have EBC pads, which are like a slight upgrade from stock. Okay. Um, some blank Brembo rotors, uh, TN suspension. I think they're called the, the Flex Zs. They're like adjustable in every way, height, dampening, uh, preload. I've never really gotten a ride in a Miata before. I've only driven an MB up to like 50 miles an hour in a straightaway and then did yeah. a U-turn and did the same thing and then took it back. Yeah. But you have to like really be in one and, and drive one. Like really this do. with the top down, pop-up lights up to really get the full experience. The car like fits you like a glove. It does. And it's like the way you shift, the way your arm is, the seating position. Oh yeah, like my arm like just... perfectly rests on the armrest, but then I'm, I'm touching the shift knob. So it works out great every time. They did a great job with this. Yeah, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. I, you know, it was a daily driver to start, and then it's just a little bit more incrementally fun, you know, putting some sticky tires on it, putting right. some slightly better brakes on it, put the LSD in it so we could rip a couple donuts every once in a while, and, <laughs> you know, we're good to go. So it's a high grab. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then oh, it's you, really high, dude. Yeah, and you'll get that, oh, that okay. like, chatter if you're not like completely correct to the stock mounts that probably are, are need to be replaced and then the, di the solid diff mounts too so the shifter feels great yeah this, right man this is crazy you don't need a short shift kit on this exactly oh you really gotta go crazy <laughs> there you go this thing is fun so just stay in this lane and then brake get in the second and then take the corner and oh yeah i gotta get used to this Got it, and then wait for it now. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> and then this corner sneaks up on you. Yeah, you really gotta like, uphill is fun. It's uphill, like a, uphill, it's like a it, challenge. It, yeah, it, uphill, you definitely gotta work it. The one thing this could really use is a lightweight flywheel for like spirited driving. Dude, the steering is just like, that turn there, that just did it for me. Yeah. That did it for me. That's normal. Sounds good. I know, right? <laughs> I love going through the gears, man. Yeah, it's great. It handles so well. A nice, simple gearbox. Rear wheel drive makes all the fucking difference. It does. It's really easy to drive. It really is. Like, you can hop in it and go, and no problem. where you can cruise it around in third. You got it, there you go. And I just wait till after the apex and now. Oh dude, I'm not even doing that full like, full 10 tenths and it just yeah. it feels great. It's just nice and smooth, right? All right, and then this is your turn. You're taking that. <laughs> <laughs>
There's so many it's, Fast and the Furious like references in this. I know. There's dude. like semi trucks and dude, honestly, trains passing us. Just doing that, just going through the gears. Just... Yeah. That's what I said. I have no, no problem doing as many passes as you want because it's fun. It, it is nasty. Like it is. That's what the, so the rebuild is nice. It's so good. Show Chelsea this video, man. Oh, you're gonna have. I'm sure she's gonna see it, but I'm definitely sending it to her if she doesn't see it right away. All right, it's like kind of like my car. Revs are like three grand at like 55, 60. Yeah. Hi yeah. Highway is four grand. Right. That's Miata life for you. Yeah. I like that you had like you know the older Miatas have like oil pressure gauge because that always helps. Suspension. Not harsh, but like yeah. it's a little on the softer side. It is. That's on, a, on purpose. Right. It's a little on the softer side, but you daily it. So. Exactly. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be like super harsh and feel every single bump on Orlando because honestly, it's not what I'm about. Just doing that is just so much fun, right? right? And I, there's no other way to explain it. You just have to drive for one. Exactly. And, then you know. and I will say, like, I do feel connected with the road. Like, I feel everything right now. Everything. Yeah. But you're still comfortable. Yeah, no, I'm good. I got my arms like on the armrest here, on the door over here. Like, yeah. there's space. Like, it's not like I'm crammed. Like, this. now granted, the top is down. So, like, yeah. But even with the top up, I still have room. Yeah, you like, still on have my room. Head. Dude, I, I can't get over the shifter. It's so good. Stock shifter, just a rebuild, man. I know, it's man. What, it's what every Miata needs. It's, the, it's so good. It's yeah. so good. Dude, I just want to say right now, thank you. I appreciate it, man. This is so much fun. Definitely makes me. Like thousand percent want a Miata. Yeah, 1, they're definitely worth owning at one point in your life, no doubt.